I absolutely support the idea of free non-commercial file sharing. Uh, uh, and um, I support that even though I'm skeptical about the utility of something called the Pirate Party in the United States. And that's only because, you know, political movements have to be sensitive to a particular political context. And whereas Pirate Party resonates in an interesting way in Scandinavian countries and has productive uh, uh, discourse produced by that, by that, I don't think it would have the same effect here. I think here, um, it would reinforce a simplification that exists in the political space about what our free culture issues are about. Hollywood, I mean, Congress already thinks the issue is a battle between hard-working copyright owners and a bunch of people who want to steal stuff. Well, call your party the Pirate Party in the United States, and you reinforce that. And the, all the work that we're trying to do in the free culture movement is get them to recognize that this is not the choice. It's not about whether you're for copyright against it or whether you're going to have copyright or abolish it. There's all sorts of problems, which are problems about real creators being able to create and spread their creativity using digital technologies in a way that advances the progress of science but can't because of us you know, copyright written to a totally different age. So, um, you know, as I read through the substance of the Pirate Party's programs, and especially the stuff about patents and, uh, um, and the other parts of reform that they advance, I think they are all great parts of reform. It's just the branding is not